Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We're back in the shop here. Thanks for joining us. Mitch behind the cameras as usual. Got an interesting project today. I was over on the island, that's Vancouver Island, with my friend Keith, and he's the one who loaned me the bass guitar. That was the other video. And he's also into solar panels, and he wanted to set me up, and I wanted to get set up. So I came home with solar panels. There's a couple right over there. These have to be mounted outside so the sun can get to them. I made a sketch. It has to be adjustable because the sun is at different heights in the summer and the winter. And it shouldn't be too complicated and I wanted to make it kind of simple in a way. So I'm going to hang it by some bicycle chain. And we're also using parts of a bicycle seat, seat tube because that way I can use the, the pinch, it's not a pinch lug, it's a seat clamp that can clamp on there. And that's what's going to hold the panels when I adjust them. I tighten up the seat clamps and it holds it, it locks it all in place. With that said, going to do some welding, some machining, slotting, painting. Let's go. What we're doing here, I'm machining these end pieces because they're going to get welded onto the end. It's a little difference in size. It just, I looked through my, all my metal supplies and this seemed to be the easiest thing to do. That goes on there, it gets, wel it gets welded on there, TIG welded, and this gets machined down to the right size of a seat post, 27.2, and the clamping tube will go over this. So this is what holds the panels hanging from my, my roof. So I'm machining this down so it just fits inside. That's what locates it so that I'm not off, off center. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Go work on these. We have to mill these down so that it's it's like a little I beam there. Not the right word really. And that's what hold what holds that on onto the solar panels is the master link that goes onto the chain. I'll show you. See that? <clears throat> this master link fits through there. That holds the chain. Because we have to allow for some movement going on here. If there's wind or someone knocks the solar panels, whatever. So this is going to be able to move because it's on a chain. We'll see how it works.
Okay. We're doing silver. It's like an engine paint. It dries really quick. Dries in a couple minutes. That's what I like about this paint. Just one shot. No, no undercoat, no primer. Didn't even bead blast it. Just spray it. Okay, drill some holes in the aluminum to mount these. I got this aluminum. It's gonna go on the back of the solar panels because the solar panels look kind of flimsy. It's, it's, it's kind of 16th inch metal aluminum. So this is gonna reinforce, make it stronger. And these pieces go on like so. And then that long piece of tubing that gets welded onto these three. That's our plan. So we'll put a hole right there. I'll figure out the, and this one can go right there. So they'll be offset and I'm not, not worrying about the spacing. Okay, we're gonna weld on, on, on the three tabs, paint this, and then we'll do assembly. I can still do it after all these years. Haven't lost it yet.
old stainless fasteners here. Okay. Will it all fit? I hope so. Yeah. This is how it works. There's a, a, two, a two by four, and this goes through into the two by four. Oh. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh. Well, I, oh, like you just have to choose the right, there you go, it fits like that. That goes into the two by four, and it goes over it, and there's another, another drywall screw that goes in the other side, and that's what holds it all up. Okay. Okay, thank you. What do you think? Thank you very much for watching. Mitch and I appreciate your support. I have solar. I just have to hook up the wires now and there's a control box, it's gotta be programmed. Mitch and I like coffee. If you buy us some coffee, it's much appreciated. It helps our channel. We have merchandise. Please subscribe and like. And we'll see you next time. Take care.